Did I talk last time about the Joule-Thompson effect for natural gas? And when we went to this glossary for the American Gas Association, we saw that they described that for a 100 PSI drop in natural gas, you get about a 7 degrees temperature change. And we can explore this pretty quickly with uh, RefProp. What I want to do is I want to think about different states. State 1, where the pressure is high, and then state 2, where the pressure is low. And I'm going to have pressure, and I'm going to talk about PSIA, and maybe it comes in at 1,500, right? And if I want to drop it by 100 degrees, it'll be this value minus, not 100 degrees, 100 PSI. That way, if I want to explore it at uh, 2,500, then boom, you know, it goes like that. All right, and then the temperature, maybe it comes in 75 degrees F. And maybe we want to know the enthalpy in uh, what units? Uh, BTU per LBM, true? I should probably capitalize that BTU. Let's go ahead and call now the code. So we want to get the enthalpy. And you can see it's starting to help remember it or suggest it. So I'll hit tab to finish it out. Of, I could type in methane as a function of pressure and temperature using English units. And the first value for pressure and the second value is for temperature. And if everything went well, there you go. It's 319 BTUs per pound. We can also get the JT coefficient, which was in, what was it, um, uh, the EGF per PSIA, true? So J-O-U, Joule Thompson, they want to suggest it, hit tab to finish it out, of methane as a function of pressure temperature, that it's in English units, and this value of pressure, that value of temperature, and hey, it even didn't balk with the syntax. So if I wanted to, I'll do Joule Thompson coefficient degrees F per 100 PSIA, which is simply this value times 100. True? So that's way too many digits, but looks like they're reporting two and a half degrees Fahrenheit per 100 PSI at this pressure and this temperature. Okay, let's do this. Let's get the temperature, uh, f assuming that we know that the, the enthalpy at state two, the enthalpy and the pressure are known. Let's just see if we can evaluate temperature, temperature uh, for methane, true, as a function of pressure enthalpy English units with what is our pressure and what is our enthalpy. Now, you got to click it and scoot it under. I don't know how to do that any better than that. But what we see is that uh, this now dropped. And so what is our uh, temperature difference? It's this minus this. So it's 2.6, 2.5. I would say that's in pretty good agreement. True? So you can see how we're checking that claim. Uh, you can drag this down and get the Joule-Thompson coefficient at those other conditions. Okay. Um, let's say I want to say what happens if it's 1,100. And so it went from 1,100 to 1,000. Well, it's a little closer to the value that they reported, true? Didn't, what did they report? Six or seven degrees per hundred? This is now almost five. Let's say it's a 900. Oops, it's five, almost five. Uh, how about uh, 700 to 600? So it's, it's inching up, true? What happens if it's not 70 degrees, but 60 degrees to begin with? Okay, it changes a little bit. So what we're doing is we're exploring uh, that claim. All right, and remember, what would happen if uh, we come in with 1,100 PSI and we didn't drop it by 100, but we dropped it by 1,000? 
true. Notice that degrees F, that's way below 32. If there's any water in the methane in the pipeline and I have a restriction or closing a valve with the little flow still through the valve, what's going to build up on the other side? Ice, water, hydrates. And it'll continue to build up until it plugs it. And then when I want to go back to open that valve more, it won't have the flow rate through it. So that's why uh, the Joule-Thompson coefficient is discussed in natural gas and pipelines and why they have a restriction that you, when you push in a supply of natural gas into a pipeline from a different well, different well, different well, different well, get the water out. It's, it's a bad actor. True? Did we talk about that last time? 